welcome back to Sufu Movie Recap Channel. Today I will be showing you a sci-fi and romance movie from 2016, named Passengers. Before we drive into the video please make sure to subscribe and click the notification button so as to help the growth of this channel. The movie starts in space with a spaceship called Avalon. It's on autopilot, heading towards a new planet called Homestead 2. The ship is carrying 5,000 passengers and a crew, all of whom are in hibernation pods for a journey that will take 120 years. However, something goes wrong 30 years into the trip. The ship encounters a storm of meteors, which causes a power disruption and triggers a red alert. But then everything seems to return to normal, leaving a sense that something bad has occurred. Jim Preston, a mechanical engineer, wakes up from his hibernation pod. A cheerful computer voice informs him that they will soon arrive at Homestead 2. Jim feels confused and weak, which is apparently normal after hibernation. His wristband is scanned, and the computer guides him to his sleeping cabin. The next day, he wakes up and contemplates what to wear when meeting other passengers. However, he discovers that he is the only person in the cafeteria. He attends an orientation session about life on Homestead, but again, he is the sole attendee. The computer-generated instructor fails to understand his question about the absence of others. Jim goes to the main concourse but receives no assistance from the information kiosk. He locates an office where he can send a message to the Homestead company, albeit at a high cost. In his message, he explains his situation as the only awake person and requests help. He learns that it will take 15 years for his message to reach anyone on Earth. He realizes he is completely alone in this predicament. Jim finds manuals for the ship's equipment and focuses on the one related to the hibernation pods. However, he can't find a way to reactivate the pods after someone has awakened. He also encounters obstacles in accessing the crew pod area or the command center. His wristband lacks the necessary clearance for entry. Jim discovers a friendly robot bartender named Arthur, whom he can converse with. However, Arthur is only programmed to offer advice typically given by bartenders, like suggesting a change if one is dissatisfied with their current situation. Jim, categorized as a general class passenger with a basic cabin, decides to break into a more luxurious suite with better amenities. As time passes, Jim spends his days utilizing the ship's entertainment facilities. However, the absence of other people intensifies his profound loneliness. In an attempt to find solace, he visits an area where passengers can don a spacesuit and venture outside, securely tethered to the ship. In a moment of desperation, Jim contemplates ending his life by opening the airlock without a spacesuit. Yet, he manages to restrain himself and rushes towards the pod area. In his haste, he stumbles upon a pod containing a captivating woman named Aurora, played by Jennifer Lawrence. Jim reads Aurora's passenger profile, which she had recorded before the ship's departure. She is a journalist on a quest for adventure and to understand the motivations behind people's decision to become colonists. Intrigued by her stories, Jim believes she is perfect. He grapples with the moral dilemma of awakening her, knowing that it would condemn her to die aboard the ship. However, unable to bear the isolation after a year alone, he manually initiates the awakening process, concealing himself before she regains consciousness. The cheerful computer program wakes up Aurora, leading her to her cabin to rest. The following day, Aurora wakes up in solitude and wanders to the Grand Concourse, where she encounters Jim. He confesses the truth about how long he has been awake but keeps his act of awakening her a secret. He requests Arthur, the robot bartender, not to divulge the truth to Aurora, and Arthur agrees. Aurora and Jim engage in daily conversations, discussing possible solutions for fixing the pods. Aurora engages in activities such as swimming, running, and embarks on writing her story. She inquires why Jim chose to leave Earth, 
and he explains that he enjoys creating and repairing things. On Earth, items are often replaced rather than fixed, and Jim yearns for a life where he can construct his own home. Aurora's original plan involved traveling to the colony, spending a year conversing with colonists about their reasons for leaving Earth, and then returning. Being a gold-class passenger, Aurora utilizes her privileged status to access more elaborate breakfast meals than Jim, whose standard clearance limits his choices. After spending time getting to know each other, Jim musters the courage to ask Aurora out on a date, and she happily agrees. They enjoy a meal together, and then Jim takes her to the spacesuit room. To their delight, they find two suits available and decide to venture outside. Returning to the ship, Aurora is filled with excitement, and they head to Jim's cabin where they make love. They find happiness in their relationship, establishing a routine of exercising, stargazing, and taking advantage of the ship's entertainment and dining options. Another year goes by, and it's Aurora's birthday. Jim plans a special surprise for her and handcrafts a ring. During a conversation with Arthur at the bar, Aurora mentions that she and Jim have no secrets, unknowingly implying that Jim has informed her about waking her up. Meanwhile, Jim, unaware of this assumption, steps away to use the men's room. Arthur seizes the opportunity to inform Aurora about Jim's decision to awaken her, believing it was a wise choice. Upon learning the truth, Aurora feels devastated and enraged, demanding that Jim stay away from her. One night, overcome by anger, she enters Jim's cabin while he is asleep and physically attacks him. In an attempt to explain himself, Jim uses the ship's intercom, but Aurora accuses him of stealing her life. Amidst these turbulent events, the control room receives increasingly frequent alerts of system failures over time. Both Jim and Aurora notice minor malfunctions, such as cleaning robots experiencing glitches. Two years have now passed since the meteor collision. One day, Gus, a deck crew chief, unexpectedly wakes up and appears on the concourse. He realizes that the hibernation pods have never failed before and suspects a significant issue. Gus's wristband grants him access to the command center, where they discover that the ship's automated diagnostics have malfunctioned, necessitating a manual check of every deck. While Gus conducts tests before proceeding with the inspection, a severe gravity failure occurs, causing Aurora to nearly drown in the swimming pool. Gus concludes that a chain reaction of failures has taken place, and the ship's computer generates a timeline revealing that the initial failure occurred two years earlier. Gus determines that subsequent failures led to power diversions in an attempt to rebalance the load, but the cumulative strain became too great, resulting in further breakdowns. The entire ship now faces the risk of drifting aimlessly in space, which would spell doom for everyone on board. The initial area affected was the main engine section, but they must perform a manual inspection to ascertain the full extent of the damage. At this critical juncture, Gus collapses, prompting Jim and Aurora to rush him to the infirmary and place him in the medical auto-diagnostic scanner. The scan reveals multiple areas of necrosis throughout his body, indicating that his death is imminent due to a malfunctioning hibernation pod. Recognizing the severity of his condition, Gus dons his uniform and prepares to meet his fate. He entrusts his wristband to Jim and Aurora, enabling them to access the necessary areas of the ship to rectify the situation. In the engineering section, Jim and Aurora discover a hole caused by a meteorite, which penetrates through crucial areas. As they open a door, the hole breach nearly sucks Aurora out into space. She manages to block the hole using a tablet handed to her by Jim, while he employs a liquid sealant to reinforce the seal. The area regains pressure, but they soon learn that the fusion engine exhaust must be manually vented. Despite their efforts, the manual override fails, requiring Jim to don a spacesuit and venture outside to resolve the issue. He finds himself in the exhaust passage, struggling to keep a flap open for the manual vent to function. Aurora, 
desperate not to lose Jim, argues with him over the radio but ultimately pulls the lever. Jim is pushed out, his tether breaks, and his suit sustains a breach. In a heartfelt farewell, he bids Aurora goodbye. Determined, Aurora quickly dons a spacesuit and embarks on a search for Jim. She manages to grab hold of his tether and brings him back inside. However, Jim is unresponsive. She drags him to the infirmary, where the autodoc pronounces him dead. Utilizing Gus wristband and override code, Aurora implores the machine to resuscitate Jim, and miraculously, it succeeds. Jim is alive once again, leaving Aurora overwhelmed with relief and joy. Eventually, life on the ship returns to normal. Jim focuses on repairing the autodock and informs Aurora that he discovered a command override that would allow him to put her back into hibernation in the infirmary. However, this would mean Jim being alone once again. After careful consideration, Aurora decides to stay awake with Jim, choosing to forge a life together on the ship. 88 Years Later As the voyage draws to a close, the captain and crew awaken, making their way to the Grand Concourse. To their astonishment, they discover a vast tree, abundant vegetation with trailing vines, birds soaring in the air, and even a cabin that may contain Jim and Aurora's grandchildren. Aurora's voiceover narrates her story to the passengers, explaining how they managed to build a fulfilling life in their unexpected surroundings. Thank you for watching Sufu Movie Recap Channel and I hope you enjoy watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button to avoid missing out on any of our new movie recap videos.